Every building and every monument in Jaffna has been scarred by battle. None more than the town's public library. Although the physical damage has now been repaired, what happened to this beautiful building nearly 30 years ago helped spark Sri Lanka's civil war. Locals treat the library with reverence, almost as though it was some kind of temple. Visitors are required to remove their shoes before entering. This is one of the library's oldest users. Sabaratnam started borrowing books from Jaffna's first public library almost 60 years ago. His membership number, 471. You were one of the first members, weren't you? Yes. When did you join this library? 1951. I became a member. So that's 58 years now. 60 years. 60. <laughs> After the new building was um, put up, I was here almost a weekly, regular visitor. The thousands of books, and especially the latest magazines, Times Literary Supplement, London Times, Madras Hindu, Latin Weekly of India, all these are collected here. So I was so happy. We had a wonderful time. When it was built, the library was one of the largest in Asia and a source of enormous pride for the Tamil community. But its golden age came to an abrupt end in 1981. At the end of May, rioting broke out after the shooting of three Sinhalese police at a Tamil political rally. Tamil houses, shops and offices were all torched in revenge and there were reports that police were among the rioters. Then Jaffna's most loved building was set alight. I was able to see the library going on flames. So my feeling was that we are losing a treasure. When former municipal commissioner Sivagnanam went to investigate, he says police stopped him. Uh, and I was threatened that if I refuse to abide by the orders of the I may be harmed, I may not even, even be shot, he said. 97,000 books were destroyed, including many irreplaceable manuscripts written on palm leaves. The Tamil community's cultural treasures went up in smoke, leaving only a lasting bitterness and anger. And uh, seeing those uh, collections in flames and realising that the whole thing cannot be re uh, retrieved, it was terrible trauma in my mind when I was standing and uh, looking at this. It was really a cultural genocide. The burning was a cultural genocide. In a recent Tamil documentary, Sri Lanka's former foreign minister said that Sinhalese also felt the library's loss. This was not only a blow to the Tamil people and the Tamil intellectuals, it was a blow to the whole country because it was one of our national prides, having such a library in this country. So burning this library, I would say, was a massive psychological blow to our whole country. Rebuilding started the following year but the library soon found itself on the front line of a civil war, used as a sanctuary by Tamil rebels under constant attack by the army. It was finally abandoned in 1985. When the library was shattered and uh, there was no one, I used to wander along and think of the old days when it was the intellectual center for all of us. This is uh, one of my books. Uh, about, uh, this is a religious book. 
Kopai Sivam is a Hindu scholar and the author of several books held by the library. So you're not just... This oh, this is you. Here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's thrilled the library was reopened in 2003. Now a new generation is finally getting the chance to discover Jaffna's public library. The Sri Lankan government of the time said it rebuilt the library according to the original plans as an act of reconciliation. Restoration and the renovation of the library was basically a symbolic gesture, I would say, because that was a way of Chandrika Kumaratunga's government as well as the people of Sri Lanka saying, we are very sorry for what happened. But the restoration turned out to be controversial. Many local Tamils felt it was an attempt to literally whitewash the past. They thought the ruined library should have been left as a memorial. They have made a clear planned effort to eradicate the historic event of destroying the library in 1981. But the wounds are not all from the past. The ongoing war and tense political climate mean Jaffna feels like an occupied city. The new library suffers as a result. It's in the middle of a high security zone, ringed by army checkpoints, and for many locals, it's not worth the time and hassle to get here. The place have lost its importance due to the conflict. Uh, it has come to a certain place of oblivion in a way. But unlike their parents, today's children seem less enthralled by old books than they are by new machines. How do the books that are here compare to what was in the library before? You know, there are latest books, from both from India and other places, and all the books are there. Uh, that is considered. But the historical record of the Tamil community, uh, collected from the people, little people, senior people, and our ancestors who lived here, are no more. Our cultural heritage is not available.